Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of My Wisconsin. Today I have arrived at Manitowoc along the shores of Lake Michigan at the Wisconsin Maritime Museum and home to the U.S. Cobia which was built in Connecticut and found its resting place here in the 1970s after serving with distinction in the Second World War and as a training vessel during the Korean conflict. I am going to tour the submarine behind me and take a look around at some of the galleries. But just like when I visited SC Johnson Wax, I was told I cannot take any film footage inside the galleries or inside the submarine. But I did speak with our tour guide Keith and he said that I can film him a little bit on the deck and record some of his voice narrations within the submarine. So today I'm going to have a little bit of film footage on the deck and then mostly a slideshow presentation for my visit today here. So let's get going. Alright, we're here at a historical marker and as I mentioned in the opening, we're at the Wisconsin Maritime Museum and the sign reads out briefly the Manitowoc submarines at the outbreak of World War II in 1939 President Franklin D. Roosevelt called upon America to rearm increasing the number of submarines became a goal to keep everybody from falling into the river. This, this thing now, every so often now, back in World 2 now, they've been like saying, okay, well, every so often you have to hold on to, but for the most part, that we're relying on footwork and their eyesight. Now, later on, when we actually get down inside, there's somebody in sump right about here. I'll tell you a little bit about their eyesight when we had all deal with too, okay, folks? So, uh, y'all can come up behind me, please. All right, now, this whole big lot of great structure that's behind me and for all you nice people here, this is, is actually known as the Kantar area on a submarine. 
Now, we are, of course, on a World II submarine, the U.S. Cobia. You know, it's, it's amazing if you look about it or think about it, we actually have guns aboard something like this. Yes, for a couple of reasons. Yes, why? Well, for one reason is that because, let's say, when we left Pearl Harbor or Australia, back then now we used the entire country or continent as an entire sub base. So I was a cut, kind of like cut down a distance factor to get to the enemy coastline. Now, when our submarines left, let's say Pearl Harbor or somewhere like this, we actually went on a war patrol. That was actually called okay, going against the enemy ships back then. Big long objects that we actually fire at the bad guys back then, hit the enemy ships, X started with a T. What? Torpedoes, folks. So, let's say back then we actually got really lucky and fired these things out and hit the, let's say, a boat like that, or obviously, but then uh, bigger <laughs> ships like that, right? Right? Okay, now, been actually known as a clean sweep, too, folks, all right? So, they put room on top, believe it or not, right? Go back home, somewhere, like you put somewhere. Everybody went cheer for this thing. If they saw someone come back home when it rolls out, means to be in a place. This is where the filming stops and only photographs from here on out.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour of the U.S. Cobia and some of the galleries of the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. And I want to say thanks to Keith who allowed me to film him on the deck and a little bit of his voice narration down inside the submarine. So where is my Wisconsin going from here? Not 100% sure yet, but I know I've been doing some research on going and seeing a powwow, so that may be coming in the future. So from the Wisconsin Maritime Museum my Wisconsin and the city of Manitowoc. Thanks for watching My Wisconsin. Don't forget to give, a, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to One Year Out Productions. And we'll see you out there.